Montreal men who molded Arnold Schwarzenegger into a bodybuilding champion and formed a fitness empire. And Joe Weider picked up a weight and from there went on to change the world. In the world of bodybuilding, they are legendary. Joe and Ben Weider, founders of the Weider Fitness Empire. What started as a $7 investment in the 1930s has turned into a half a billion dollar empire. I think to really appreciate Joe and the gravity of what he built, it requires a level of perspective. You have to rewind the tape back to the 1940s when his vision was born. And you have to take a look at where the world was at that time. Our people and our interests are in grave danger. Well, I think you've been going too hard lately, night and day. This was back when Hollywood didn't cast muscular people. Who is this? Athletes looked more like Babe Ruth. Muscle was looked down upon. Without any of the information that we have available today, Joe predicted that in the years to come, the world in every discipline would be profoundly impacted by the advancement of the physique of the muscular world. At that time, that prediction was viewed as ridiculous. Joe Weider was born in 1920 in the Jewish ghetto, and he was a scrawny kid who got picked on a lot. I took up bodybuilding because I was weak, frightened, did not have enough strength and therefore I decided I want to buy a barbell set but I couldn't find a barbell set in the city because but practically nobody knew what a barbell was so I remember one day he came back and he brought this uh, axle you know from a train he says it's the closest I can get to a barbell I'm going to train with that as legend has it when he was about 17 years old he got this idea that he wanted to publish a fitness newsletter I got write-ups in the newspapers, and people from different parts of Canada began to write to me on how to train. And I couldn't answer them all, so I decided, well, maybe I should put out a magazine. My mother didn't like the idea, because she thought I was going to be a bum. It was just unheard of, so she thought that uh, Joe was nuts. Joe, he spent his days, day in and day out, building a vision for a world that he knew would one day exist. And while he was doing that, the world wasn't on board with things that were deeply important to him. And I think to some level that created a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Joe has fought and fought and fought. The guy went bankrupt and he built himself right back up again. He was met with conflict almost every step of the way. His persistence in seeing this endeavor through is what makes this story extraordinary. Joe had been looking for a superstar to represent his magazines. So at the 1968 Mr. Universe contest, which was held in Miami, a 21-year-old Austrian kid was competing, and Joe took notice. Joe cultivated this relationship and felt that this person was a, a real uh, opportunity to elevate the sport. He always would say, Arnold, I want you to be the best and the smartest bodybuilder of the whole world. He wanted to move him over to the United States from Austria. Joe put him up in an apartment in Venice. He gave him something like 50 bucks a week, some real small stipend. He says, all you have to do is just train, train, and train, and beat everyone. He saw me like the Frankenstein and the, the, the guy in the lab that is creating. Joe was in love with Arnold. He got the best prize in the world when he got Arnold.
So there was a time when muscle-bound men started to wash up on the shores of Venice Beach. A little more, a little more. Move it to the right. Okay, Arnold. Okay, don't strain looking up at him. Just put your face, just hug him, you know, kind of sexy. Joe did a great job of capturing the appetites and the tenacity of the bodybuilder. He created characters, and it was the arrival of the Venice Beach community that suddenly made it okay to be muscular. Let's pump some iron. We all want to be better. We all want to be healthier. We all want to be stronger. Joe challenged people to aspire to become greater. Ladies and gentlemen, the father of bodybuilding,